How is it going, guys? I Slex. As the title mentions, using additions as multiplications, you might think that what I meant is two times three equals six. You can also write it as two plus two plus two or three plus three, which is additions. But what I really meant is two plus three equal six. Can you do that? Obviously. 2 plus 3 is not equal to 6, and we can prove it uh, with your calculator. So uh, let's take your calculator out and let's do some proving before we move into the actual problem and the solutions. So I'm, I'm going to do it on the spreadsheet. So I'm going to jump this a little bit more. So I'm going to see. Okay, so I have one thing is 2 times 3. I want to do 2 times 3. and Obviously, 2 times 3 is not equal to 2 plus 3, we know that it is false. So, uh, this problem was slammed into my face when I was redesigning Adventure Capitalist Strategies version 2. I was looking for product if, but there is no such function. However, there is some if. So some if works fine with array formula. So I was thinking, can I use additions as multiplications? If you learn about logarithmic products rule before, you know that log two plus log three is equal to log six. And this is the thing that we are looking for. We are looking for an additions and Somehow it is the it multiplied numbers together and get the value that we want. Now if you take a look closely at this thing, two, right? So two plus three, now you get six. This is the thing that we are looking for. Right, uh why it is like this, so I'm gonna show you one thing here. So log two plus log three, according to the logarithmic product rule, is you take the multiplications of the value inside the logarithm. So we get log 2 plus log 3 is equal to log 2 multiplied by 3. Uh, they are the same base and log 2 times 3 is equal to log 6. It is the simple math 2 times 3 equal to 6. So log 2 times 3 is log 6. And that is how we, la uh, we get this equations log 2 plus log 3 equal to 6. Query log 6 is not equal to 6. You know what is log 6? Log 6 is 0 0.778 blah 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 blah. So to solve this problem, we need to understand what is logarithmic or logarithm or the definition of logarithm. So right now I'm going to show you the definitions of logarithm. Let's say you have these equations. You have 2 to the power 10 to the power of 2. That is equal to 100. So I'm going to write in equation form. I'm going to get this. So 10 to the power of 2 is equal to 100. And let's change this thing into logarithm. So what you're going to do? Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to log both sides. So now let's make it log. Log 10 power 2 is equal to log 100. Okay. Now, you know that in logarithm, to the power, you can bring it in front and make them as multiplication. So you have 2 multiply log 10. And the left hand, the right hand side have nothing, so it's still the same. So 2 times log 10 is equal to log 100. And if you type on your calculator log 10, you will get 1. So 2 times 1 is equal to log 100. The 1, I can ignore the 1. So I can just write 2 is equal to log 100. And you might argue that, alright, what is the base? You might, you might be wondering what is the base. So if by default it is base 10, that's why I have the 10 here. So by default it's base 10. If I have all they have the same base, that is the same. It will not affect the, the definitions. It is still the same. If you 
all you need to do is to make sure that when you're adding the lock, you need to make sure that they have the same face. That will make your definition true. If you understand certain things, it will not tell you the solution right away. So in this video, however, I'm gonna spoon feed you the solutions. Right now, I just discuss how you convert a normal number and give them the lock. If you understand certain things, you will not get the answer directly. So that's why they say that it is important to understand the topics. If you understand the topic, it will help you to find the answers. You might not know the answer directly, but it will help you to find the answer. Okay? So right now, uh, I'm going to add one more equation. 2 equal to log 100 base 10, uh, they are the same thing. So I can write them in as log 100 base 10 is equal to log 100 base 10. Um, this is the model that I'm working with to convert the value that uh, we was talking previously, which is log 2 plus uh, log 2 plus log 3 equal log 6. And I want to convert this value into log. Uh, I want to convert that into something that would be like this log 6 equal to 6. I want to take the 6 out. I don't want the log part. I just want the value 6. So what I'm going to do to reverse the definitions of the logarithm. So I'm not. I'm going to remove the log essentially. So uh, I don't have space to leave this behind. So I'm going to delete this. I have to delete this. So I'm going to left with this. So let's begin with the final equation that we have. Log 6 base 10 equal to log 6 base 10. So both this part is the same. Left hand side and right hand side is the same. That's why it's true. And now we can manipulate the equations. I'm going to multiply the left hand side by log 10. Log 10 base 10. And log 10 base 10 essentially is equal to 1, so I can ignore that on the right hand side. So now I have these equations. And on multiply, I can bring it, bring it on top, become power. So now I have this log 10 power log 6 base 10 base 10. And it is equal to log 6 base 10. Is still the same. Let me see if I can show you the true. Oh, no. Never mind. This is a true equation. If you type on your calculators, log 10 power log 6 base 10 base 10, it, it is it is going to give you log 6 base 10, the value of log 6 base 10. So now we have these equations. I'm going to remove both sides the log from both sides. So now I'm going to remove the log. So I'm left with 10 to the power of log 6 base 10 is equal to log, I don't know, is equal to 6. So there we go. We somehow find our way to the answer that we're looking for. Now with the value log 6, I can get back the value 6. And if I press enter now, here it's gonna show oh it's gonna show error. Okay, like this and it's gonna be true. So all my equation is true. Left hand side and right hand side they are equal. Nothing changed. I just changed the form so that I can use this as the like a fat formula, a formula to calculate the value. So let me show you one thing. Okay. Now we know that now we know that the formula is 10 to the power of log any value you want, let's say 5. And we base 10 obviously. So now we get the value 5 right here. Shown right here. 5 if I press enter, uh, it's still 5, okay? There's just a shortcut tell me tell me that the value is 5. So now let's change the other value, let's say 99. And get that right. So what I did was I just reverse the definition of log and I get the value that I want. So now let's see how that helped me. So the first question that I asked was 
can you use 2 plus 3 for the 6? The answer is definitely no, right? And now, let's, gonna, let's do this. First that we learned that we need to convert that value into a log. So we have log 2 plus log 3. Okay? This is still false. Then we understand that we, to remove the logarithm, we need the we need to understand the definition of logarithm, and then we reverse it. So now we need to reverse it. So we, in the end, we get the the formula ten to the power of this thing, and now we get true because right now it is equal. You can try this for yourself on your calculators and you will get the value of 6 if you type in 10 to the power of log 2 plus log 3 you will get the value of 6 and now let's try out 3 plus 3 equal to 9 let's see if it's equal to 9 okay so log 3 plus log 3 it is equal to 9 and the answer is yes it is equal to 9 can you okay so now you might wondering, can I do it with 3? Let's say 3 plus 2 plus 5, we will get 25. Is that 25? 2 plus uh, 3 times 2 is 6, 6, 5 is 30. So I'm going to do 3 plus 2 plus log 5, we're going to get 30, yes. So essentially it means 3 times 2 times 5, you get 30. So this is the end of the video. I hope you learned something from this video, mm, especially the logarithm part <laughs> okay, about writing equations. So uh, one very important lesson is that you understand the topic to find the solutions. You still need some efforts to find the solution yourself. Or you can just ask a teacher and, it, and he or she might spoon feed you the answer directly. So, thank you for watching. Like this video if you like it and subscribe so that you don't miss out the updates on adventure capitalist strategies. And I'm working on version 2 and it is on the moon. See you guys in the next one.